It's a warm day, it's a temperate day, it's a windy day, and it's cloudy, and I'm about to head out on my way to Starfest 2023. Hey everybody, it's the first night of Starfest. It's uh, incredibly, it's incredibly cool being out here and also incredibly wet. And if I'm not mistaken, that over there might be Trevor Jones from Astro Backyard. All right, standing outside at Starfest, it's still raining. Let's uh, hope this clears up. Okay, so this is day two of uh, Starfest, and uh, so far the skies are still cloudy and it's still windy. I know I seem to complain a lot about the weather in all my videos, but uh, yeah, it's just been this year. Um, but uh, so far Starfest has been pretty fun. I got two, I caught two interesting talks today, one by Ben Law, who encapsulated perfectly uh, what frustrations uh, those of us who start into astrophotography face and another one by Wayne Parker who uh, did a really entertaining talk about uh, 120 year history of uh, amateur astronomy and astrophotography so uh, I think we're all looking forward to the winds dying down it's supposed to get a little bit calmer and clearer within the next four hours it doesn't seem that way my uh, my awning wants to fly off and I think it's too cold to make sausages, but uh, again, here we are. So my scope is still covered. Um, I'm not going to set it up until the sky clears. I don't think there's any point, although, wow, look over there. I do see some lighter clouds. Yeah, louder cl lighter clouds right there on the horizon. I see a lot of hopeful people here setting up, hoping that tonight is going to be a clear night. Okay, this is killing me. It's windy. It's probably going to be windy, if not windy, then gusty all night. My homemade uh, dew shield is a sail. It's a freaking sail. And I'm debating getting a... Uh, I'm debating getting a dew heater. Problem is, I would need a controller and a cable. So do I waste a night and spend one frustrating night fighting the wind? Or do I bite the bullet and get a proper dew heater with a controller? I think I know what I need to do. Don't tell my wife. So I did a rough alignment. Uh, I did the trick of setting up the scope with uh, generally north facing uh, leg and then lining it up south. That's for the video. <laughs> oh, well, if you're interested, no problem. That seems to have worked. So I skipped a few steps and this is the second part of drift alignment. Uh, this is uh, the altitude portion of the alignment, and uh, as far as altitude goes, and I'm veered pretty far to the uh, to the west right now, 
uh, this is looking pretty good. Hey everybody, uh, I think this is going to be the final update for tonight. It's 1 a.m. Uh, I've shot my UPPD mat flats and uh, I did it for the Eagle uh, Nebula M16. And then I shot the flats up front for the Triangulum Galaxy. So I've repositioned my scope and I'm shooting Triangulum right now. Uh, yeah. So I will pick this up again tomorrow. Clear skies. Yeah, that'll be fine. Doing some quick stacking. I turned off my live stacking last night so uh, as not to chew up too much processing power on my uh, old idea pad. These are the popular swap tables. And by the looks of it, although <laughs> they've only been open a few minutes, uh, a lot of things have already been swapped. So there we go. Swap tables. Many more people here today seem to have shown up overnight. Uh, a few poor souls tried to come in the middle of the night and were resoundly yelled at by everyone. That is a 25 foot tower ladder. If you have a 30 foot daub, some vendors set up. We've got Astronomy Plus, We've got the SV Boney Shop, Telescopes Canada, and Skywatcher. A couple of solar scopes. This one has a Daystar Quark Chromosphere filter, eyepiece. This one was using a dual lens setup, dual HA filters, or reduction filters. Both very cool. This is River Place Campground. I'm going to venture out and guess that somewhere down there is a river. So this is the end of Starfest. Final thoughts? Starfest is a community place. It's a place for people who love this hobby to gather and meet old friends. Sometimes, sometimes it's the only place that friends see each other for many years at a time. Uh, there is a real feel to this place of community. Um, 
of appreciation for astronomy uh, and for the love of science. I'm glad I came here. I met interesting people. I saw some really interesting setups. I was able to hear some great presentations, uh, including the keynote from last night by Dr. Katie Mack, who gave a fantastic cosmological overview of our place and time, one that it's going to take me a little while to digest. There were members here from clubs and astronomy communities from across Ontario and Canada and North America. And it seems even though this year the weather is really not in our favor, a good time was had by all. I plan to come back in years to come. For now, I was able to catch the Dumbbell Nebula last night. The image I was able to take was better than the one I had before, and that makes me happy. And the two pictures I took, one of the Triangulum Galaxy and the other of the Eagle Nebula, were also both better than the ones that I had previously taken. And uh, I think to me and, and to most of us in this hobby, that's what really counts. Can you improve on the images that you've taken? Can you see with more clarity things that you've seen before? Can you spot those fuzzies that you had not caught before? So for now, I'm going to hit the road. And to everyone else, clear skies. Thank you.